हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ विनो शिकरे वी सॉ इन लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ बेसिक सिविल इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग द ब्रांच ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ प्लानिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ डिफरेंट वेज और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन इंक्लूडिंग रोड्स एयरपोर्ट्स वाटरवेज एक्सेट्रा दैट ब्रांच ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इज नोन एज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी सॉ द डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन लाइक एयरवेज रोडवेज वाटरवेज इन your syllabus of basic civil engineering only you have roadways the importance of roads in national development that is only the roads can carry goods from aerodromes that is aeroplane harbors and railway stations to the required places like houses shops factories etc considering uses of roads in different parts of a country they can be compared to arteries in a human body thus no doubt progress of any nation depend on good road network system the advantages of roads we also saw in last lecture that are it facilitates speedy transportation of people's goods raw materials etc in different parts of a country it is only source of communication in mountainous or hilly areas it makes villages more active and leads to social and cultural advancement of people it also helps in growth of trade due to connecting link of villages towns of cities it also helps in price stabilization of goods and products due to easier easier and economical transportation of goods it helps in providing improved medical facilities quickly in rural areas it also provides employment opportunities for the youth in a nation it also serves as a connecting link from aerodromes harbors and railways station to homes shops factories etc and vice versa vice versa means uh, from homes shops factories to the aerodromes harbors and railways it plays a very important role in the defense of a country during wars in war condition the roadways are most important for transportation of weapons from one place to another place the development of any country can be judged by the quality and network of its road system then we also saw types of roads according to using different seasons that is all weather roads all weather roads are those which can be used during all weathers except at major river crossing where interruption to traffic is permissible up to a certain extent and second type is according to fair weather roads on fair weather roads the traffic may be interrupted during monsoon season at causeways where streams may overflow across the roads the stream of rivers flows across the roads then next classification of road is according to type of carriageway that is paved that is carriageway means the upper layer of the any road that is paved roads paved roads are those which are provided with a hard pavement 
स्पोर्ट्स विच शुड बी एट लीस्ट वाटर बाउंड मैकेडम लेयर दैट इज बिटूबन और इन नॉर्मल लैंग्वेज वी कॉल्ड इट एज अ डैम्बर और टार द सेकेंड टाइप इज अनपेड रोड्स अनपेड रोड्स आर दोज विच आर नॉट प्रोवाइडेड विद अ हार्ड पेमेंट कोर्स ओनली सॉइल इज प्लेस एंड कॉम्पैक्टेड विथ वाटर दिन थर्ड क्लासिफिकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू पेमेंट सर्फेस दैट इज सर्फेस रोड्स एंड अनसर्फेस रोड्स दिन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रोड्स बाय डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेमेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट इज फ्लेक्जिबल पेमेंट एंड रिजिड पेमेंट Based on the structural behavior, payments are generally classified into two categories. That is, flexible payments and rigid payment. In figure, we see the cross section of flexible payment. Flexible payments are those which are flexible in nature. That is, flexible in their structural action under the application of loads. If the lower layer of the payment of soil subgrade is undulated, the flexible payment surface also get undulated. That is uneven. Typical flexible payment consists of four components as shown in figure. That is first cause is soil subgrade. The most bottom. course of the flexible payment is soil subgrade above that that is sub base cores on sub base cores the uh, third from the bottom is base cores and topmost cores of the flexible payment is surface cores flexible payments are constructed in layers and the top layer should be stronger as it comes in direct contact with the tires of the vehicles and hence in addition to wearing action of tires it has to carry compressive stresses that is the load coming from the vehicles and the uh, for negliging that load the upward force applied by the pavement that is compressive stresses the magnitude of these stresses gets decrease in lower layers four layers in ferrier material can be used as it has to take lesser stresses the layers are the dimension or thickness of the particular layer layer is shown in the figure the surface cores of having thickness about 10 cm then base cores having the thickness about 20 cm and the thickness of sub base cores that is second last cores of flexible pavement it is about 30 cm and then the soil subgrade all courses are well compacted with water one by one flexible pavements are commonly designed using imperial design charts or equations taking into account some of the design factors there are also semi empirical and theoretical design methods these methods not in your syllabus only cross section of flexible pavement is in your syllabus the example of flexible pavement is uh, normally the tar or bituminous road the highway next to our uh, college that is uh, arunbath pune highway is a uh, example of flexible pavement in exam uh, the question will arise about this diagram the top most layer Uh, इसमें से यानी कि कौन सा लेयर कौन सा है क्या है जस्ट आपको फिगर शो की जाएंगी और आ, मार्क किया जाएगा कि ये लेयर कौन सा है इसलिए ये फिगर अच्छी तरह से रिमेम्बर कर लो ठीक है 
it is also uh, this figure is also you have to draw in your practical on sketchbook i will uh, tell how to draw and uh, what are the uh, sheet number from 1 to 10 i will give uh, the sheets you have to draw on your sketchbook the next type of payment or road is rigid payment rigid payments are those which are not flexible in their structural action under the application of loads there are no dimension changes due to application of loads that that is rigid payment rigid means the body which should be called as a rigid which does not changes its dimensions due to application of loads on it that is rigid body rigid, uh, rigid payment means the application of load due to uh, the load coming from the vehicle does not change the dimension of the payment that are the rigid payment rigid payments are those which are not flexible in their structural action under the application of loads the rigid payments are made of either plain cement concrete or reinforced cement concrete these are the types of concrete in uh, re, uh, plain cement concrete means only cement aggregate and sand are used and reinforced cement concrete means in which the steel is used for avoiding tensile stresses coming on the structure or roads the rigid pavement has the slab action and is capable of transmitting the wheel loads or the stresses through a wider area below the application of load the figure shows the various thickness of the layer the rigid pavement consists of three layer uppermost layer it, that is cement concrete slab then base coats and the bottommost layer that is soil subgrade the thickness of the cement concrete slab is about 20 centimeter and the thickness of the base coats is about 30 centimeter the cement concrete pavement slab can also serve as a wearing surface as well as a base course the rigid pavement structure consists of a cement concrete slab below which a granular base or sub base course may be provided in case of fine grain soil it is necessary to provide subgrade providing a good base or sub base course layer under the cement concrete slab increases the pavement life the rigid pavements are usually designed and the stresses are analyzed using the elastic theory the best example of rigid pavement is cement concrete road in uh, our city in Aurumbad, the most of the intercity uh, roads are cement concrete roads this is a comparison between flexible and rigid pavement flexible pavement the first point is deformation in the subgrade is transferred to the upper layer deformation means the displacement occur due to application of loads coming from the vehicle in rigid pavement deformation in the subgrade is not transferred to subsequent layers in flexible design is based on load distributing characteristic of the component layer it means the surface course and base course are considered for load distribution in the rigid pavement design is based on flexural strength or slab action that is the member having uh, more length than its thickness the uh, strength in that member is flexural strength 
the flexible pavements are low flexible has low flexible strain completion cost and life span of flexible pavement is less than rigid pavement the rigid pavement has high flexible strain and life span then flexible pavement the load are transferred by grain to grain contact in flexible pavement surfacing cannot be laid directly on the subgrade but a subbase is needed in flexible pavement there is no thermal stresses are induced in a flexible pavement the thermal stresses are more uh, vulnerable to be introduced induced as a ability to contract and expand is very less in concrete that's why after some span you see the uh, one type of crack is intentionally developed in the cement concrete roads for deformation of roads that is uh, in summer season the concrete is expand up to certain limit that is deformation and in uh, winter or when temperature is low the uh, contraction is happen in the roads that is thermal stresses are developed in a rigid pavement strength dependent on the strength of the subgrade in flexible pavement rolling of the surfacing is needed in flexible pavement the flexible pavement has less time required for maintenance road can be used for traffic within 24 hours but in rigid pavement normally 14 days are required for opening of traffic in flexible pavement the forces of friction are less in rigid pavement the forces uh, of friction is high in figure you saw you see the typical roads section it consists of different types uh, different uh, parts or important terms uh, of regarding roads first figure is cross sections of the road in embankment embankment means where we uh, fill the ground by material like soil and second is cutting second part is cross section of the road in cutting that is in which we cut the ground or uh, excavate the ground that is cutting these two figures has important terms like road margin shoulder side slope roadway then drains this uh, use of the middle portion that is carriageway and roadway the important terms concurring to the road cross section are that is first term is carriageway the middle portion of the road below roadway that is carriageway carriageway the pavement or carriageway width depend on the width of traffic lane and number of lanes how many lanes are laid in the road means uh, one way road two way road or four way uh, we normally talk about uh, four lane roads six lane roads or two lane road uh, that is the carriageway depend upon the roadways or number of lanes for a road having single lane a width of 3.75 meter is desired carriageway width is available for vehicles during movement on a road 
देन सेकेंड टर्म इज विथ ऑफ रोडवे और फॉर्मेशन दैट इज फॉर्मेशन विथ इज द सम ऑफ विथ ऑफ कैरेज वे एंड द विथ ऑफ द शोल्डर फॉर नेशनल एंड स्टेट हाईवे फॉर सिंगल लेन द रोड वे विथ इज ट्वेल्व मीटर एंड डबल लेन रोड हैज अल्सो हैज ट्वेल्व मीटर विथ मेजर डिस्ट्रिक्ट रोड that is classification of roads according to uh, importance of roads the single lane and double lane in which the steep terrain has width of 4.75 meter and plain and rolling terrain jahan pe bhi hum plain ground hoga wahan pe width rahengi फॉर मेजर डिस्ट्रिक्ट रोड इज नाइन मीटर एंड फॉर माउंटेनियस जहाँ पे भी हिली एरिया है वहाँ पे विथ रहेंगी फोर पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर्स देन थर्ड टर्म इज राइट ऑफ वे और रोड लैंड विथ इट इज द विथ ऑफ द एरिया ऑफ लैंड एक्वाड फॉर the road along its alignment while acquiring land for the highway it is desirable to acquire more width of land as the cost of adjoining land increases very rapidly after the highway is constructed then most important term in a pavement or cross section of the road is shoulders the portion of roadway between the outer edge of the pavement and edges of the top surface of embankment are known as shoulders these are the shoulders you saw that is the portion of the roadway between the outer edge of the pavement and the edges of the top surface of the embankment at known as shoulder the width of shoulders varies from 0.5 to 4 meters according to nature of the area and type of the road they may consist of water bound macadam or simply earthen surface according to type of pavement that is flexible or rigid they are always given an outward slope that is known as camber to drain of the rain water quickly towards the sides the outward slope as per indian road congress that is irc is for paved surface that is 1 in 24 to 1 in 48 that is slope 1 vertical to 24 horizontal and for earth surface that is 1 in 16 to 1 in 24 objective of providing shoulders are they act as essential parts of the roadways they provide lateral stability to the carriage way they also provide space for erection of road signals they serve as parking places in case of emergency they also provide spaces for walking animal drawn vehicles etc and the last uh, the main important term is side slope side slope the slope given to the sides of of earth work of road in embankment or in cutting for stability are called side slopes side slope should be so designed as to keep the earth work stable in cutting or embankment to provide a flatter slope is uneconomical whereas steeper side slopes may lead to erosion 
the main factors affecting the design of side slopes in which the first is the nature of the soil of road embankment or cutting second is climatic condition in more uh, rainy areas the side slope is more the method of drainage provided the drainage system that is drain uh, are provided it also decide the side slopes side slopes in filling or embankment generally varies from 1 in 1.5 to 1 in 2 that is 1 horizontal to 1.5 uh, vertical then uh, next term is uh, formation level the reduced level the reduced level of the finished surface of the earth for for road in embankment that is level of formation on which the road is formed formation level of a highway should be decided such as to provide economical artwork in the road project that means uh, the optimum cutting and filling of material means uh, pe bhi humko road banane ka hai pe se jada material हमको निकालना भी ना पड़े और वहाँ पे दूसरी तरफ से दूसरा मटे दूसरी तरफ से मटेरियल लाके वहाँ पे फिलअप भी ज़्यादा करना ना पड़े डेट मींस ये शोड भी इकोनॉमिकल देन लास्ट टाइम इस कैंबर द राइज गिवन टू द सेंटर ऑफ कैरेज पे अब वो इट्स एजेस ऑन स्ट्रेट पोर्शन ऑफ रोड इस कॉल्ड एस कैंबर all the amount of road camber depends on the intensity of rainfall in the local area and the permeability of road surface that means uh, the penetration or uh, filtration of water from above level to uh, layer to the below layer of the ground or road surface Generally, it varies from 2 to 4 percent. The objective of providing camber is to regulate the vehicles to their proper lanes, then to quickly drain off rainwater from surface of carriageway to the wards, the sides of the roads, and third objective of providing camber is to improve the appearance of a roadway. This is all about the uh, payment that is rigid and flexible payment in exam uh, the MCQs on it will ask that is the how, how many layers flexible payment consists how many layers the rigid payment consists the topmost layer what is the uh, name of the topmost layer in the flexible payment also question is arise on rigid payment what are the width of the carriageway in a uh, national and state highways that also ask what are the objectives of uh, providing camber and what are the uh, material are used for constructing the flexible and uh, rigid payment this is uh, all about the payments that is uh, uh, transportation engineering for your syllabus it consists of various modes of transportation their uh, advantages and uh, disadvantages then classification of roads and in which only flexible and rigid payment are in your syllabus in which uh, the uh, the composition of flexible and rigid payment in your syllabus then typical cross section of roads that is we saw that is uh, this is typical cross section of road which consists of side slope carriageway roadways then drain and formation level and camber and after that the 
important terms of cross section of road that is typical road section camber width the uh, formation width carriageway side distance and uh, the uh, some problems on side distance that is side distance means the distance required for uh, overtaking of vehicle from uh, to another vehicle that is side distance it is all about uh, transportation engineering thank you